your defensive team of the year is here. Maybe it's not really yours because uh, you might not be able to afford a team like this, but it's okay because not a lot of people can. We'll just call it our defensive team of the year, and this is what it looks like. And I'm going to be giving you guys an overview of each player. Wait, that's not right. Okay, now it's better. We're not going to be talking about who should have or shouldn't have made the team of the year. Here are the snub guys, by the way. I'm going to tell you whether or not these cards are good based on their overall. So let's start things off with Tampa Bay legend Palat, 94 overall. His offensive stats, above average. 95 or higher in most stats other than slap shot accuracy. Defensively a little underwhelming, but still in the low 90s. Defensive awareness 96 is pretty nice though. One thing that concerns me is 88 endurance, one of his weaker stats that are relevant. So he's going to get tired pretty easily. He has some pretty weird synergies, though I guess it is defensive team of the year, so it makes sense that all these synergies are defensive. So it'll probably end up taking his defensive stats in the high 90s. Bergeron, holy crap, what a solid card. Full of 99s, and that Movember Bergeron is of course going to do wonders. Weaknesses? Fighting, don't fight with Bergeron. Don't care if he's on the big bad Bruins, he's he's not going to fight well for you. That's it. These synergies are all about helping your team defensively and in the face-off dot. I feel like defensive centerman is a waste. He activates it on his own. He doesn't need it on his own. Face-off master's fine because it's hard to activate. Clean check is kind of ugly. But end-to-end -end and trap is okay. The boulder himself, Mark Stone. Eh, not looking too great on skating. With Team Wheel, he'll be fine, though. He's got an amazing shot and is great position-wise with his high awareness stats. Poise is a little concerning at 85. Discipline, 86. Hopefully he doesn't choke for you in those high-pressure situations. The synergies help him out with that. Another player with Clean Checker. Seems if you want, like, 30 points in uh, Clean Checker, just buy all these Team of the Year cards. Pearson, 93 overall. Pretty good skating and stick handling, about average shooting for E93 overall. And wow, he has four different synergies that help with his hitting. Seems kind of a waste to me. Koivu's got a beautiful card, 97 overall, yet there are a lot of 99s on the board. In fact, most of his stats are over 96 as well. So it's very similar to Bergeron. Two numbers that stand out to me are his accuracy at 95 and his discipline, surprisingly. Discipline's not that big of a deal unless you go for a lot of hits. But accuracy, you gotta find a way to max that out. The synergies, again, won't help him out too much, but will help out your other players. One thing that does concern me, though, is he has four different player synergies. That's not that great, but still an excellent player. Next we got Zook, who's known for his speed, and as 95 overall, it's maxed out at 99. The one problem that I have here is that his skating stats would be a lot higher if there were no caps. Regardless though, it looks like a card with good stats, the only problem with Zuccarello is his size. 5'7", 179 pounds, don't be expecting to win much puck battles outside of your poke checks and stick lifts. But he has three synergies that will help you accomplish that. Heavy hitter won't really help him out at all. Arvidsson, the guy that I think everyone wanted to see on the Young Guns. Don't know much about this guy, but apparently he's having a phenomenal year. He's another small guy for body checking, but he's a good skater. His shooting's also pretty good for his overall, other than his slap shot accuracy, which is about average. His defensive stats are pretty weak, but should be boosted adequately with his synergies. Kessler, a player that I like, where I use many different special edition cards of him. Surprisingly though, not sure if I'm a fan of this card. I think it's mostly because his All-Star Game card, which is the highest overall card that he had before, already had mid to high 90s in a lot of these stats. It only took a few team synergies to max him out. So now that they're all already maxed, you kind of have to focus on something else. But if you don't care about that, then this card is amazing skating-wise, position-wise, and defensively. I always talk about how having Kessler as a left defenseman is a pretty good idea. As a 96 overall, though, his shooting isn't that great. 91, 92, and neither is his puck control and stick handling. The synergies don't help him out too much, other than the fact that he can activate Puck Hog by himself, which kind of helps out his stick handling. On to the dowdy hater Kachuk, who has a crazy amount of 99s for a 93 overall card. He looks like an amazing skater with a lot of power. 
Other than Poise, his weakest stat is stick checking. Which is pretty bad considering the game that we play highly relies on poke checking. If you activate them, his synergies can help him out a little bit in that. On to the defense side of the defensive team of the year. These guys are looking a lot more solid than the young guns. Giordano starts us off, who doesn't have great stats for a 97 overall, but they're still pretty good. He only maxes out in his defensive stats. 97 acceleration, 98 speed should be good enough. Shooting and stick handling isn't the greatest, and neither are his synergies. But I guess they can increase his durability. Chuck Hader Dowdy, 99 overall card. The only thing bad about this card is it's shooting, 91 slap shot accuracy, 93 wrist shot accuracy. I guess the synergies too if you don't like them. But 99 awareness offensively and defensively is desirable. Slavin, young guy on Carolina, actually has surprisingly similar stats to Dowdy. He even has more discipline than Dowdy, so take that, Dowdy. He's a little weaker in skating, a little weaker in stick handling. His awareness is at 93. He's definitely the type of card that would benefit from an end-to-end -end synergy. Hold the blue line, if you can activate that, will help him out defensively in terms of awareness. Otherwise, this guy's a shot blocking machine, already at 98 and has three synergies that push him over the limit. Gudis is a little bit of an ugly one, not talking about his face, but his shooting is god awful. 80 slap shot accuracy, you don't want that out of a defenseman. All the synergies in the world would not be able to help him out. No, actually they might, they might like push him up to like 90, but that's still not that great for a 93 overall. And then you gotta go through all the trouble with all those synergies, and he doesn't even have any of those synergies. Dude's got 70 discipline, every hit you take with him is gonna be a penalty. He has the hand-eye coordination of a chicken with 85 in that stat. He's got 99 balance at least. He won't fall over. Synergies, eh, they don't help him out in anything that I just mentioned. Finally, the goalie's Gill 85 overall great synergy plug, Holtby. Has a lot of 99s, but will likely not stuff every puck. The three points in line brawlers also kind of kill me. It's not that desirable of a card. I'll do it for your overview of the Defensive Team of the Year cards next week. Offensive Team of the Year, I know I said that last week, but it's actually next week.